Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how you can utilize the for loop node so that way you can have multiple plushies hitting your face or just simply just have a multiplier node if that makes sense. So simply just go into your blueprints, add a new blueprint, then let's go ahead and we're going to make ourselves a Twitch redeem. But again, you can apply your knowledge when it comes to YouTube or Billy Billy. I have a tutorial dedicated to redeems if you are curious about it. It's in the description below. But let's go and make a Twitch redeem. So Twitch, let's say on Twitch channel points redeem. Switch or string, string contains. This is referring to the name. So reward title. Let's say 10 plushies. Then we're going to have an if branch. So if a channel point named 10 plushies is to be redeemed, then if it's true, then throw, you can throw the prop, but there has to be something in the middle because we want 10 plushies. We're not going to make 10 different nodes and make it laggy. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, well, I mean, if you're going to have multiple props at you, depending on your PC, you might lag. But let's say we just want them hitting us at the same time. Then you type in for loop. For loop is a great node if you want to add like some sort of multiplier. So if it's true, then, with t then what it's going to tell us is that it's going to repeat this node here 10 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can press on invoke flow here. Oh, wait, that's right. I have to set up the target character and then prop source is going to be the plushies. Let me go and add a chicken and then there you go. Awa. So you can be able to have 10 plushies hit you at the same time. You can, of course, set different intervals if you want to have like a, you know, like, like an interval like this. Wah. And then you can also have like an initial delay, which is like, you know, after like some seconds of start, like there'll be a delay at the start and then they'll hit you. So you can set up however you want. You can set up to a hundred or even a thousand. I have it where when my Twitch hype train is triggered, it will trigger a hundred plushies for my case. But again, don't overdo it. Like don't, don't do this. If you do this, you're going to crash water though and I am just going to look at you silly. So please don't go too crazy please for the sake of your computer but yeah but also the little extra thing you can of course let's see activate ragdoll so you can of course have it where your character on collide so when the prop is thrown on collide you press you know connect it to enter set it to your character you can mess with these values if you want and then you can simply have it where 10 plushies can hit you and your character can just fall and you may be also wondering how the heck are you not falling to infinity kana well all you have to do is make sure to set up a collider floor so go to discover tab type in collider like this here and you should be able to see a floor collider from sprite make sure that you subscribe to it and then all you have to do is under the assets panel you just have to make an asset by pressing on add asset then prop and then for my case, I made my own collider floor, but again, you know, apply your knowledge. And then simply for my case, I'm just going to go ahead and find, I'll find my collider floor, but yours should be probably at the bottom because it's from Steam Workshop. So keep that in mind. Let me go ahead and find mine. Mine should be around right here. And then simply for your case, the floor will not be shown by default, but you can utilize meshes here to turn it on and off like so I recommend at best you can have the scale let's say up to like you know you can have it as 50 50 don't spam the number like this please again make it a reasonable number but otherwise you know once you have that make sure that collision detection is enabled and then you can be able to have it where the collider floor will start working for you so yeah that's pretty much how you can have it where you can have multiple plushies hit you but also just have a multiplier node because keep that in mind this can apply to other things such as like spinning or maybe if you want something to repeat like multiple different times you know so you know honestly just 
have fun and just go wild with water though. Hope this tutorial helps you out and I hope you have a lovely day. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye!